is a place to be. We've got lots of kids here as well as families. I talked to a few of them. We've got some from Reynolds as well as California. This guy right here said he just moved here, ready to see some snowfall. And we don't have a lot of that in the forecast, but we're still cleaning up from what fell. Kids, can you help me out with the forecast the rest of today? And it will be 40 degrees. You got it. Cloudy and 40s right now. We're sitting right around 37. But you can see all the numbers pretty much across the state are close to the freezing point, if not slightly above it. So we're going to continue to warm up into the lower 40s throughout the afternoon. And it looks like it's also going to be mainly dry. I do want to show you road conditions from across the state because it does look like the roads are really improving as well as the visibility. The breakdown of the rainfall fall totals right around a quarter to a half inch fell in between Dallas and parts of Polk County and we saw our heaviest snowfall totals along the Iowa Minnesota border some coming in as high as 12 inches that was one community but around six to seven to close to eight inches reported in parts of Kasuth County we are going to continue to stay cloudy throughout the afternoon with some low clouds a little light drizzle at times patchy fog expected overnight tonight and the temperatures will remain on the cool side for the most part. 32 in Algona, 33 in Webster City, as many of those communities get to enjoy a snow day. I did see a picture. The roads are definitely getting better. Close to 40 degrees this afternoon around Des Moines and along the southern border of the state will be close to 40 degrees. We do have more rain on the way next week. How do you kids feel about that? Say, yeah, if you're excited. Yeah! All right. Yeah, rain, not snow. I'll show you when it will be falling coming up in just a few minutes live from the Science Center of Iowa.